Hi, and welcome back to our next video, everyone. In the last video, we created a sprite character, and I've got it over here. This is our main character. Please note that your main character must have your first initial in it, so don't forget to do that. Outside of that, you can build the character however you want. Now, right now, when we run it, we do have the platform behavior set. So using the left and right arrow keys, it does move right to left. And yes, it does have jumping capability. But our character is not very impressive. If I go to the left, it doesn't turn. Um, if I go to the right, it goes that way. So uh, I want to make my character look a little better than this. So in this video, we're going to learn how to build animations. And specifically, we're going to build an animated character. What you're going to do is double click on the character and then make sure you go and crop it. So crop that uh, character like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down here. You're going to right click and we're going to duplicate the character. Now, I've got this one selected here. Now the way that we make it look like it's actually moving is we're gonna change parts of our character so that when an animation runs, it basically just goes and it shows frame zero and then it goes frame one. Then it goes back to frame zero and back to frame one and so on. So we wanna make it look like the character is walking. So I'm gonna change the feet slightly. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to change the way the feet are. So I'm actually going to use this tool right here is the rectangle select. And what I can do with that tool is I can actually select this. And if I keep the same size shoe, I can select it. And then I can actually move the feet or the shoes back um, a bit. So I'm just going to move it back a little bit here. I'm just going to move it over here. And then what I can even do is I could take part of the leg and make it look like the legs moving a little bit. So I'm just going to select this part here and I'm just going to put it like so. Now, I'm going to go try to get my skin color here again. If I click on this um, and then draw this here. Whoops, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Um, I can see that that's a little bit too dark. So let me just go back here. Let me just make this a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to put this kind of on the back of the leg. Basically, what I'm trying to do is make it look like the legs are moving. So I've moved the shoe position, and I'm going to move the leg position a little bit, um, like so. And then let's go in to save. You can save it if you wish there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click on number one, and then I'm going to duplicate it. So now I've got another one. And what I'm going to do is same thing. I'm going to move the shoes a little bit again. I'm going to use rectangle select. And I'm going to start at the bottom here and select the shoe. And again, I'm just going to move it back a little bit. So again, it's going to look like his shoes are moving as he's going along. So I'm going to move this. And again, um, maybe I will cut part of the legs out here. Maybe I'll cut this part of the leg here. And maybe I'll cut this part out here. Uh, but then maybe I'll add more in the back. And again, maybe I'll do that with the pencil here. I'll make that a little bit wider. That's too big. Um, and again, maybe if I just go like this and just go like this. Hopefully you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to make it look like his feet are moving back. Um, so again, what I can do when I'm done here is I can just click on this one, right click, and I can duplicate it. And again, I can do the same thing. I can move these back a little bit. Um, maybe as he's walking, I'm going to make the shoes kind of come up a little bit. So it looks like his feet are moving up. 
So how about I'll move that one and then maybe I'll move this one just a little bit this way and so on. So to give you an idea of what this can look like, there's actually a play button here. Um, I, I can actually go and I can click on this and you can see that if I click, oh, I can restart here. You can see that the feet are moving. Now I'm doing this quick, you can do a better job. My shoes maybe could be a little better shaped like shoes, um, but you get the idea of how this is working. So now when I go in to the main area, if I close this here, and now if I click on run, you're gonna see that my character doesn't look like the feet are moving. So I've missed something here. I need to go back in here and I need to double click on my character. And you're gonna see down here that um, I can get this to loop for instance. Let me show you what this looks like. So if I click on loop, it's gonna repeat the animation forever. Um, maybe I don't wanna do that, but let me just show you what that looks like. So I clicked on loop and close it. And then if I go to run, then you can see that, oh, okay, the feet are moving. But notice that even when I'm standing still, my feet are moving. So remember, computers aren't that smart. Um, I need to go in and maybe fix some things to tell it so that when it's standing still, don't move the feet. I only want those feet to move when I'm actually using my arrow keys. So we're going to have to go in and set that. But for now, you guys now know how to build the animation. Let's have you go in and try to build that animation to get the feet looking really good, make it look like the legs are moving, the feet are moving, and have fun with that. That's it for this video. We'll talk to you soon.